In this episode we're going to look at using Iridium to send and receive emails using Outlook Express. The purpose of this is to give you an idea of the speeds that are achievable when the computer is set up correctly. The prerequisites for this step are that you've already followed our instructions to set up your email program, for example Outlook Express, and also the instructions to configure the Iridium to dial the internet. Now, I'm going to prepare some emails to send. I've already made sure this computer's offline and it's not connected to Wi-Fi, so any emails I'll send will have to go out via the Iridium. And I'm going to send the emails to myself. So the emails will go out, and then a few seconds later the server will return them to us. So this is quite a good test, we get double value, uh, we get to send a few emails and we should get a few back again at the same time. So there's my test email, I'm going to press the send button and that will put it into my outbox. Now one email is not much of a test, so I'm actually going to send quite a few at the same time and save myself typing them in endlessly. For the purposes of this demo, I put some in my drafts folder earlier on and this allows me just to quickly open this email up, it's all ready to go and if I just press the send button, that will stick that in the outbox. And you can see these emails represent just perhaps a short email message that you might send to a friend. Uh, they're not ridiculously short, but they do actually give you a representative idea of, a, of the speed of a short email message. So let's put quite a few into the outbox. I'm actually going to put 10 emails in in total. 7, 8, 9, 10. There we are, I've got 10 emails in our outbox. I'm going to click into the inbox again. And in order to make these emails actually send out across the internet and to pick up any that then return back to us, I need to come up here to the send and receive button. I push that. At this point the computer notices that we are not connected to the internet and because I've got the automatically connect option set, it offers me the chance to dial up to the Iridium. So I come here and I press connect. And at this point we get our usual uh, Iridium dial up connection box. And the most important thing to do at this point is to have a glance over and check that you do actually have five bars on the Iridium screen. So I have a quick look over. I've got a five bar connection. So I press the dial button. Now this is now going to dial up to the internet, same as it normally does, and it's going to send out those 10 email messages. Some of them will then be returned back to us by the server. The server's only got a few seconds to actually do this, so we probably won't get all 10 email messages back again, but we are likely to see quite a few of them come back again. So it's connected to the internet, that's just sent those 10 email out, it's now just disconnecting the one direction. It's now looking to see if there are any email messages waiting for us. And here we can see that nine of those email messages we've just sent are now back in our inbox and it has just downloaded. There you'll see in the background it's just downloaded those nine messages. The hang up when finished button is checked so the computer will now drop the connection for us automatically. You saw there the number of seconds that the Iridium has billed you for flash on the screen. So it's about 30 seconds of chargeable time. It has sent 10 emails out and received nine emails back in again and I hope you agree that's actually quite impressive. Clearly in general you'll be using much larger emails than this and so it may take longer to send and receive them. Uh, weather emails you might typically see take even as much as a couple of minutes each. Um, however, hopefully this gives you an idea for testing of what is possible with the system.